Well, I got a friend that do spiritual work, so you're not doing voodoo. Yeah. So ask your friend the egg in the water. She gonna tell you this a cleanse. I'm gonna ask her. Yeah, she gonna tell you this a cleanse. And guess what? I do that every Sunday. So if a bitch put something on me, it's gonna be on me six days. I'm gonna go do it today. Listen, whatever you need to do, we don't need to do it. Okay. Exactly. Listen. And guess what? He has wanted to do it. Uh, what he do? He cleans you. Yeah, Corey, do you? Then they're making the damn egg and water and all this with me. Somebody put something on you. You know, Maddie said, uh, I know you don't really want to talk about her, but it ain't about her. But she said that he was, um, I couldn't even watch the live. The nigga had went and did some spiritual shit. Came, brought it in the house, put it up under the pillow and shit. I'm like, what? You you remember I just told you that this man will, anybody can finesse him? Uh-huh. Listen, I can reach out to Corey right now as a prophet and say, <laughs> I do not want to say this in a joking way. <laughs> but I can say, Corey, if you want to get your life back, I need for you to do this. And this ain't me saying somebody said this to him. But he is going to do it. You get what I'm saying? Corey, if you want your fame back, uh, I need you to do this. You can send me this, and then we can send me a thousand dollars, and we can get this going. He just dumb ass gonna do it. She said that nigga paid like five thousand for it. That's what his money go to. Don't see like that. I see. That's why I was like, where the money going? I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, a little something about to eat, a little right quick, a little gun or something. It's not. That's where the money going. So I kept telling Corey, Corey, stop listening to everybody. Like. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That man don't give a fuck. He he is really slow. Like you really can finesse him. <laughs> I swear to God, like they're just I like the guy. Listen, I'm his to do list. I just posted to do list on my damn story. What I was talking about today. The to do list said call a plumber over so he can check the the high water tank, the high water uh, heaters at the house. He wants say the plumber said it's leaking carbon monoxide and to get him seven thousand to change the tanks out. He, he, the only thing Corey said, okay, okay, I'm gonna let her know. He like, babe, you all gonna get seven thousand from the bank, cause I said, hell, I ain't get seven thousand. I'm gonna get another pin. So I called a real gas company out, Center Point, and I'm like, uh, the man went up. There, I said, can you see anything leaking carbon monoxide? He was like, no, nothing is leaking carbon monoxide. Your water heaters are, you know, they going out, but in the water heaters ain't nothing like a thousand dollars. I'm like, you ain't gonna give me some mess some six thousand dollars. What? He just, he just, he, that's how slow he is. <laughs> so he just out here throwing money away. Yes. Yeah, and hey. think somebody finna give him some money. Hell no. What? Corey, what do you need the money for? That's Hell all no, I'm you ain't finna throw my money away. And he kept talking about he was like, cheap. All the people like, oh, she, she doing this to him. She, let, let me tell you something. The only thing that I have done was the trips, but the trips was already planned on my end. All I had to do was just add yeah, him. Flight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Exactly. All my, my resorts was already booked. All that. Cabo was already booked for me again. Turks was already booked. At the end of the year, in no, at the end of November, I'm going to Paris. All this shit was already booked. So guess what? I don't, I normally travel by myself, but guess what? I'm going to add you in here. So, it is what it is. You had to have. I, I was gonna say you had to have a little d on the trip. This nigga was getting drunk as f no. Couldn't even get none. Man, I'm so mad. Girl, let me tell you something. I couldn't even enjoy my stuff, and I don't even drink like that. But I'm saying the whole trip was just so childish. Like I had to watch you the whole f time. Girl, this nigga done showed your t and got damn. I almost got naked on the line. I'm like, gang, what are you doing, <laughs> bro? <laughs> I'm like, man. Nah, but that yeah, was too like, much. That was too much. Yeah, we do. Don't show his money. For sure. He do. And that's why, like, he ain't got no money now. And then he comes to me like, am I still going to give him the 50000 so he's to the music for the music career? I'm like, I'm not putting 50000 in your hand. I said, once you get the other contract and we do another contract, I said, I will contribute like give you fifty thousand over time like if you need money for your rollout this and that because at this point i'm your manager right so other than that i'm not just gonna put 50k in your hands like it don't work like that because i only had one nigga that gave me 50k and that's the nigga i was talking to back when i was 18 19 years old damn to help me open my tax office so 
No, that's the only nigga that'll get a 50k out of me if he need it. I'm just gonna be honest. Like, I I just knew like when people start asking me for money, that's when I get away from them. Because is, is this what this is all about? You said it'd be that. cool until they ask me for money. You said when you that. start asking me for money, <laughs> but I gotta go. I ain't. I don't give about the love. I don't give about the sex. Good. I don't give about none of that. Whatever we started together. Be- I don't care. My energy, look, I'm drained at this point. Please so don't you, ask me for no money. You can't get your nigga a bag? Hell no. My nigga ain't never gave me no bag. My nigga didn't see the, the come up. Like, come on now. If I know he was more, if I knew he was more genuine, don't get me wrong. If I didn't see, like, he was the type of person that just do anything for money and try to manipulate people for money, I would have probably gave it to him if I felt like he was some genuine shit. You get what I'm saying? Because uh-huh. genuine sh- is sh- like these. Like how I said, the dude back in the days gave me the money to help me start my tax business. Mm-hmm. That was genuine. Sh- I ain't never asked for that sh- back. So if he falls today, that same dude now, if he falls today to the point that he called me and say, hey, Danny, I need 100K. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my ass to the bank and get him 100K. Mm-hmm. But my thing, in, my thing is, Corey, we only been together 70 days. You ain't put in that much to ask me for no damn fifty thousand yeah, no, dollars. I agree. Yeah. So seventy days, like you really find out a person in ninety days. I'm just gonna be honest. You find out what are they broke, what are they rich, what are they attitude. <laughs> for well, I said good ninety days. I give niggas a ninety day. Well, run. you know, you know, when niggas, so I don't know, I don't know. So you say ninety, then it's ninety. Mm-hmm. I get niggas a ninety day run. I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, but my thing is, uh, when he when he it got to the point he would start asking for money, and don't get me wrong, like even with the the peach cobbler factory with the promo and everything, that's why, like it was the trips and it was this. It was like like if you gotta pay for these, like here I give you like little stuff like that, but just a beat. 50, 100,000? 100, no. Mm-hmm. But if you need to pay for like 5,000, 7,000 here, this and that, that's cool. I ain't gonna miss that sh- But 50, 100, 200, 500,000? Hell no. Did you so we gotta nigga? sit down and talk about this. <clears throat> Did you pay the nigga for the promo? Who, Corey? Yeah. Uh, Did he pay bills in my house? Mm. Yes, not. I understand. Okay. Because I thought in the beginning that was that was the whole point. So you're supposed to pay him in the first place. But yeah, it, it got personal. Ah, mm-hmm. they keep asking me in the chat, was the dick good girl? Was it good? Yeah, girl? I'm not. I ain't gonna say the way for you. Yeah, he got good dick. I said that before though. That's what I thought. Y'all heard him say that before. Y'all just want to hear it again. Y'all thought she was gonna be spiteful and say the dick was bad and it was little. Nah, he ain't new. It's, it's average. You get what I'm saying? I ain't had bigger, but yeah. It's mm-hmm. average. It's cool or whatever. What's average? Like a seven and a half, like eight and a half? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You know, but the yeah, cervix cool. only six inches, so that was enough. Cool. He pulled up with enough dick. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and the sex wasn't even no problem. Like, we'll have sex every day. Now, you know, last week, I ain't gonna lie, we had went like three, four nights, and I'm like, damn, we ain't had sex. I knew we'd be fussing this so he was like, well, we've been fussing. You, like, you ain't want nobody to touch your ass, this and this. So this and that. I'm like, you know what? Not even worry about it. So I uh, was into it all last week. <laughs> but I ain't going to take that away from him, you know? Like, is I'm going to be real about every damn thing. Is it enough for you to miss the day? You going to miss it? I don't miss no nigga. It ain't about oh. for me. Okay. Let me tell you something. If you were a business type shit, and we had a business together, we get a bag together, this and that, and all that. Uh-huh. Man, I should be. I can go a year without. D- I don't give a f- about no f- dick. Okay. All I give a f- about is handling my business. So I can be single for a whole f- year and don't got to f- nobody. I'm cool with that. I understand. I don't need so, no dick yeah. ever. You know what I'm saying? You ain't seen me crying no more f- live yet. No, I I knew you wasn't though. You can't when you you know what I'm saying. You got your <laughs> sh- together. Hell, what is, what is that a cry about? Technically, well, that's I, why I'm like, Corey, stop feeling to these. Respond back to me yourself because let me say something. Did you know, I got some of my phone that you want to delete some Instagram page. Mm. Like, that's why you want, that's why you want to respond back. But it's <laughs> cool. You know what I'm saying? Don't come but over here talking to me for a good time. Nah, let me say something. It's cool because I'm the type of person I'd have put out some stuff. Uh-huh. Guess what? I'm going to wait on your response. Keep it in the chamber. 
I'm going to keep this and I'm going to keep this one in the chamber. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Until you respond. Because I ain't going to let people think that I'm just constantly, constantly peeking on you. I did tell them I'm going to do it for 24 hours. I said I'm on his ass 24 hours. No, 24 hours winding down. It's almost over. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, if you respond in any negative way, you're going to light your ass back up again. Damn. I mean, so my thing is, you better hope I don't get mad enough that you still send me this shit. And he didn't know she was recording you because I know you ain't know that. He knew. So, he asked her, do you want the shit that you been wanting? He asked her. Yeah, but he better he he better hope that she, wherever she, well, the shit she put down your fuck, them this shit, like, girl, okay, that, that's off topic. It's Who really petty, to? especially the furniture because I know you ain't over there walking on wooden floors with no, uh, no couch. Yeah, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something first of all. You gotta understand, I closed on my house June 28th, right? June, July, August, September. This October. year? This October. year? Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been oh, in my house so shit. much. No, you got I time. I just closed on you my house, time. bro. You got time. So when, when you when you closing on a mansion, you fix up room by room. Yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't that's just go like, let me go crazy. No, in that's beach. a fact. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So you get your designer, you fix up room by room, right? Right now, the main focus is my office room. I want my office real nice when I do my tax courses. So I've been, my designer been helping me order stuff for my office. He already noticed. I already did like my upstairs, then I done did my patios. I done did, that's why on his to do list that I just posted, the mm -hmm. beast was supposed to be when he got three, four bed mattresses two weeks ago for four beds in my house four bedrooms in my house mm -hmm. guess what did the beach go do it the beach can't even do that don't pay no bills you can't do what's on your to do list <laughs> but anyway so yeah you fix up that little by little nah, and I man, say, yeah, that's what you do with yeah, the house but i don't even long know as my the kids rooms, as long as my kid, kids rooms are fixed up when they come down here because them <clears> the two rooms i did first of course my room any other guest room you fix that shit up as time go by yeah. So it is what the fuck it is. Like, ain't nobody finna be like Britney. You just because you got the money, you go blow all this money on your mother's house, then you lose the house. Crazy. Yeah, I'm definitely over here d d going piece by piece. So I get it. Exactly. Because at this point, you've been a hater. Everything you doing, you've been wanting to do it anyway. But let me tell you something. That's why I ain't never exposed no messages or no tea on me because I watch what I say in messages with anybody. There's niggas that I'm laying with. I feel you. That I'm cool with. That's why everybody like, oh, they, they. I hope they ain't got nothing on you, Danny. They ain't got. Shit. I done scrolled through all them messages. Like, oh, I ain't never seen these. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, but they had to some shit. shit up. Come on now, man. I know what to say in messages. Like, I got all type of messages from this whole. Like, I'm gonna check myself in. I don't know what to do. This and it. Man, I ain't no way I'm gonna blow seven million in two years, bro. I don't know what the. Obviously, she was uh, furnishing the whole goddamn mansion at one no, time. No, she the type of person that, like, she the type of person, like, she be competing with this other um, tax lady in Houston. I hate the tugs. Hey, on her, she about 44. She look good as fuck. Yeah, she, 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 she fine as hell. Mm -hmm. So, the lady got, she also got two Rolls Royces. So, guess what? She gonna get two Rolls Royces. And when she go get shit like that, I'm gonna get the top of the line. Her and Corey from Alabama, they both slow. <laughs> So I'm finna, I'm finna go get the top of the line. I want a black badge. Me, I don't got no black badge. I got a regular Rolls Royce. I knew that was my dream car. So guess what? I ain't got to have no black badge with everybody else got. What's the I'm difference the in the regular cost? one? No difference because my, my truck was like 400. Her truck was like 450 maybe because she got like the little seats that, that you sit in the back. Uh -huh. But I don't even give a fuck about all that different type of shit. Because I'm not trying to please nobody. Oh, I got to get a black bag. I got to have these. Man, I'm going to get what the f*** I want. My car was brand new. When I got it, it had the plastic on the seats. I ain't had no miles on that bag. It was brand new. And so I liked that. Right. You know, my Lamborghini was brand new when I got it. So that's the type of person she is. Like, she got to prove a point. Like, don't get me wrong. I prove my point with the businesses that I close on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop my shit. Yeah, I'm finna get, I got me a smoothie king. Guess what? When I close on this one in a few weeks, I'm gonna go get me them other three that they just put for sale in Houston. They just listed three more for sale in Houston. That's the type of shit I pop my shit with. I don't give a fuck about no foreign car. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. I got every type of car that I can ever want. 
I don't give a fuck about if she, Corey was flattered with all these type of shit. Man, what day one? Okay. Before before Corey even came along, y'all wouldn't even knew what the fuck was in my fucking yard. Definitely. First of all, I'm just gonna be honest. Cause that was like chaotic son in the morning. Maybe he wrapped the black and put some more rims on it. That's how you know, like this is material shit you do. If you wanna stun, you wanna run your views up, you wanna say you wanna buy you a Maybach, go ahead and do it. Go I would go never go to your house and be like, Let me drive the Maybach. Like I would never I would hop in my Kia Forte. That's and it. guess what? That's I'm what so humble. Do. I'm so humble. Like I really love my I used to love my Tesla though, but I couldn't just get with it because where I live at I live in a country and it was so it like the the charging station was like twenty minutes from me. And I only drove that car one time. So that's why like I was saving it for Corey to wrap the car off next. Uh-huh. But when I seen the shit about the car show was fake, I went on like and took the car back to Tesla and just sold it back to them. I was like, I don't have use for it. I've been had this car a whole year and I don't even this car. Well, why the you hell know, you so, put the charging station in the damn garage, uh, Danny? Because them charging stations in your garage, like the one that came with one, them take 24 hours to charge. Oh, no. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So I was like, <laughs> these cars. So yeah. I was gonna let him wrap the car off because, you know, like, make his business get back good a little bit, you know, and just, you can just wrap my Tesla off because I ain't gonna give you the Maybach or none of these other shit. You can just wrap the Tesla but when I seen this, that man got so mad at me that day. I think that probably be the first day he probably called me a mother. Second time. Girl, we got into it so much bad when I went and took that car and sold that car back. Did he know you he was, was going like, to sell it? I mean, it wasn't none of his business. Yeah, because I told him. No, I told him that I was going to go sell my mother's car back because you ain't going to wrap her off. I told him just like that. That's your the car. Next day I, yeah, I called him. I'm like, listen, I got a fast little day. He's been sitting up. To the point that the Tesla was dead. I had to tow it out my yard, first of all. I'm like, I'm going to come and sell it back to y'all because there's no use for it. That bitch got so much, man. That bitch said, bitch, you so much slow. We could have rent up 500000 with that motherfucking Tesla on a raffle versus you sitting it and getting 30 bands. I said, I don't give a fuck about no 30 bands that I get off this Tesla. All I give a fuck about is you ain't going to rent up no money off me and some people over beach. So guess what? I would have to go get 30 bands. So if I knew about a raffle scam... I would have let him raffle the Tesla off. I would have never took that back and sold that back. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I would have just said, you know what? We can. We can. If I was with this, I would have said, you know what? We can run up some money off this. Let's go ahead and raffle this out and run up a bag. I wouldn't even own that. You and put some money in your pocket. Bitch. Like, <laughs> it's blood thicker than water. But you got over on my cousin, right. my cousin, my brother, all my people. Bitch. So at the end of the day, blood is thicker than water. F- you, I ain't gonna put no money in your pocket. That's crazy. He ain't so that's why he linked. That's why he linked with Britney with them them cars. That's that's why he linked with Britney because she told him to rap play like he gonna wrap all the cars off to give her some money because she ain't got no money. So of course this bitch burnable. She'll do anything. For a nigga that if he sell her a dream right now, she gonna go for it. So he telling her, yeah, Brittany, I'm gonna just wrap the rate. I'm gonna wrap the rate and the coloring in green. I'm gonna flex in it for like 30 days. By the time November 1st get here, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna wrap it off. You get what I'm saying? We're gonna act like we gave it away. And when you get it back, you just take the wrap off. So that's what she was trying to say to him. Like, don't tell me about this. Shit. Like, keep, keep her out of this. Shit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I guess she felt like if she getting into it about this shit and putting pressure on you about doing this for real with the shit that happened in Alabama, she going to have something bad to say about these two cars right here too. That's crazy. So that, that was their whole plan, for her to get some money and for him to get some money. So and he re- only did that because I, t- I took the Tesla bit. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, so he was only like, you know what? Well, she I'm finna... Her friend finna lose her cars anyway, so I'm finna just do the play with her friend. So he was just being spiteful because you he felt like you did something against well. Yeah, he felt like that's why he, he that's why he was money. calling me evil. Right, see, that's why he was calling me evil. I'm dirty. The bitch trifling. Because of that. Like bitch, how can you be mad at me? Cause I wanna sell my car and get my little thirty thousand dollars. And I mean, Come on, yeah, I'm gonna go that's my car. 
Exactly. I'm going to put this same 30000 on the cloud for my sister. My little sister graduated in December. So I said, you know what? I'm going to put this, this uh, $30,000 aside and I'm going to get her a car. She said she want her one of the, the little hundreds with the red seats and so she loved them cars. So I'm going to get her that car for uh, for graduation. So, yeah. Because they want to need to get her to the Tesla. She going to school and well, they probably had charging station in Hattiesburg. But yeah, I'm going to get her a new car. So... Yo, the bitch was so mad about that, about my car. Nah, that's good. But I did, I, I did it on purpose. Because he could have still sit there. I did it on purpose. I did it to just really show him, like, no, I'm I'm that mad to the point that I'll take this bitch back and sell it back before I let you go for this bitch off. That's crazy. I mean, that wasn't nothing to be mad about if it ain't your car. And I just oh, feel like it was he, so many If he would have seen his money coming up, because see, I had already posted my title, so people knew I got my titles to all my cars that's paid mm -hmm. for. You get know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I had already posted the titles, and like it was getting a lot of attention on Facebook, because I was like, I know I'm giving away two cars for tax season this year, but I don't know which which two that I'm going to give away. So that's when um when he seen that, because he's never seen my titles. I got a big-ass safe in my house where I keep all my shit. He don't even know what all my safes at in my house. I got like three safes in my house mm. that I keep all my shit. So one day I was in my office and I was like, like you know, making sure I got all my D's and stuff, all this shit together. And like, um, I was like, yeah, he got a, the title to the Tesla, the Camaro, the, the Range Rover I got, the Maybach truck, you know, all that shit. He was like, man, baby, we can make so much money if you just, just sit back and let me just wrap all these off. Like, yeah. Crazy, he got that boy gonna have yeah. to learn to get his own money without a woman. Mm -hmm. He gonna he learn is. that ASAP. And not trying to bring up like a previous relationship. This is what I really realized. You like, and I know they ain't lying. She ain't lying. She did all the work, like all the editing and all that kind of stuff like that. Cause he <laughs> easy to be, he easy to be sidetracked. You know what I'm saying? He'll be editing his vlogs. Next, next thing you know, it'll take him two days to edit like one day on vlog. I'm like, damn, like you supposed to be dropping like a little two, three videos a day. You know what I'm saying? You know, we know. So, so we, we've been, wa we've been watching this. We knew Corey way before you knew Corey. Like, we don't know the all And then my thing is, but when the media be like, oh, he missed this person, let me tell you something. He don't, he don't miss that person. He missed the money and the fame that he had with that person. Mm -hmm. If he could just get that money and that fame back, he won't give a f I'm just going to be honest. He didn't give a f when he had like, he, didn't, he didn't expect her to take his the fan base like that. That's like, so he didn't stupid. Expect that. Nobody watched videos for Corey. Nobody, not a mother. So everybody likes the woman, and everybody goes with the woman. That's simple yep. math. And the same thing he do the same thing with every woman. When you break up with him, he try to do shit to tear you down. But I'm the only woman that he couldn't tear down. Mm -mm. It's, it's it was crazy. Happy. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm the only one that he couldn't just really just try to destroy. You couldn't like delete. Like I he deleted her YouTube pages. I like, did all this. To another I didn't even know that part. Girl, he gave yeah, I used to find some little shit out when y'all used to say little shit. But yeah, like, you could do shit like this to me. Yeah, the nigga gave her YouTube channel to a lookalike, to her doppelganger. And that's another thing. He said he only talked to Carmen and uh, Maddie. That's a lie. Uh, he had two other women he used to talk to as well. And one of and all of them was light-skinned. All of them was um, Hispanic, except one, I believe. But, um... Yeah, she. He, Maddie was he Dominican, took the huh? She was Dominican. Oh, okay. That's why I said Hispanic. So I ain't saying which one. Yeah, like that's, that's that's his thing. That's what he do. Like he try to bring everybody, every female down. That he um that when when they, the relationship is over. And I believe he so that's what has on karma. I do not believe that he didn't. When he said it on the phone, I'm like, uh huh. Hell no, I ain't put my hands on that girl. Yes, you did. When I asked him about that, he was like, um, he was like, we was together seven years. Yeah, we didn't got to fight before, but he tried to make it seem like it was hurt. Like, he tried to make it seem like it was because of something she did. But I don't know. Like, man, let me tell you something. These 70 days, I done found out that man is a compulsive liar. Yes. I done found out that that man is a master manipulator. 
I done found out so much stuff that I try to give him the benefit of the doubt of. And it's just like, yeah, Corey, okay. And he ain't gonna change. He ain't, he ain't gonna go to the next woman. He ain't gonna do the same thing. Absolutely. I swear to God, he's gonna do the same thing. What? Like, he's gonna try to manipulate every situation. And yeah, that's what he gonna do. Yeah, we gonna and then she said, We're gonna see this repeat very soon. I don't know who the f we gonna go with now. Not saying it ain't other rich women out here. Man, let me say something. Bro. I don't give a f who he go with as long as he ain't in 18, 9, 80. <laughs> okay. Or, or I don't I don't give a address. Listen, let me tell you, this is how much I don't give a f I will fire somebody for him. <laughs> like the same way I just posted and told them people to call if they see them them two cars so these folks can pick their cars up. Man, them, them people call me back so many times. They say, man, it's so many people calling us, asking us if we locate the cars, will we get them a finder fee? Man, I'm <laughs> myself laughing, man. I was just, they been on funny ass day. You been so, bad. Hell, me Yeah, too. I and I've been in my store. I've been in my store today, too. So they, so they just been funny, man. Like from the, the luxury lease kind of people blowing my phone up. I'm like, this shit is funny. I'm telling um, you. I, but I, they still, they still, they still know the whereabouts of them cars. They know. They just wait every time until they turn them off. You know, so you can turn the car off and move around a few times. But they didn't even. They still know the whereabouts of them cars. Yeah, uh, that's another thing. Sherelle said you took the trackers off your cars. Is that a thing? How do you how do you just take the trackers off? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Whatever Sherelle is saying, but with me, you gotta show proof. Did Corey do Corey got a recording of me? Do Corey got something his phone of me texting him? Man, y'all just talking at this point. Because first of all, I I only have my car note, my lamb and my color in it, right? Mm -hmm. My land, my cousin is financed through a private bank, so they finance through the same um, bank or whatever. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, my address is all over the internet. When I got with Corey, everybody know where the f I live. That's living. a fact. So how the f can I be hiding cars and everybody know my address eighteen nine eighty? Yeah, it's just and my sh is public records. So how the f can I be hiding cars? And every time you see me, like, my cars be lined up outside. I don't even keep my shit in the garage. I you keep don't. my old cars in the garage. You I don't. keep <laughs> these four and stay outside the garage. My damn Range Rover and all that before I sent it to Mississippi with my mama. That shit be in the garage. That's the craziest shit ever. And I keep the four on the outside. So, how the f am I hiding cars? Come on, people just be making up shit. Like, Corey ain't even told you that. Because one thing about it, Corey, know these bitches pay her bills. There's one thing about her. She pay her bills. Might then pay the bill at the moment. Because, listen, they just not making no money. So, I'm like, it is what it is. Like, <laughs> see, see? now that's accountability, child. That's all that yeah. everybody over here like. What like, let me say this on. I had, yeah. Listen, I listen. I uploaded the check I received from the state, right? Mm -hmm. I uploaded the this shit was thirty four hundred dollars that the state tried to pay me for housing these clients. Like, but they would never let the clients on the services. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm a whole therapist. Like, why do y'all want me just to house the clients for y'all? And y'all make money off the services, but that's that's nine thousand dollars per client. But y'all just want to pay me eight hundred dollars per client to house these clients. See where I mess up at? I should never try to get a second home. And, you know, and deal with the state. I could have just, like, kept my first home dealing with the insurance. You get what I'm saying? Like, private pay insurance. Like, Humana, TRICARE. That's who I build with my first uh, facility. So, with the second facility, I was dealing with the state. It was a boarding home. So, they were sending me to people, like, from jail, from, you know, like, uh, mental health facilities. But you got to understand, they come from a behavior center. They already get behavior services. So, if I try to get them to switch over, the company will be like, nah, we ain't paying for their housing if they get off our program. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, who the f How the f can my house survive off $3,400? A month and the rent is thirty eight hundred a month, plus the bills, plus the food for nothing but guys. Like I'm spending five hundred dollars every two weeks on food. So no, I'm not gonna keep this. I, I, listen, I don't blame me. I, I so feel no, like I'm not about to keep it. It could have been. Is it not paying for itself? 
I feel like it could have been done a better way because people need, you know, housing. But I mean, you can't. No, it was done a better way. I had told the parents a month prior. I told the parents a month prior. So when, when you tell them that you're, you're thinking about closing down, they send all the residents a list. They send their families a list of every, like, um, halfway house or every boarding home in the area, right? Mm -hmm. So once I told them, I said, I'm going to give you all a 30 day notice, 15 to 30 day notice. That's what I told them. So I was back and forth with the house manager because she didn't want me to close. I'm like, you're the only one benefiting from this house. You benefiting because you still getting your paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You still getting paid versus me not profiting nothing out this house. So, of course, you wouldn't want me to close. So I had told her at the 30-day mark, I said, go ahead and reach out to the parents and let them know we're about to close. I even texted them myself. By the time Sherelle started all this, girl, it wasn't nothing but two people left in that house. And the, one of the parents communicated with me. They said that they was going to get um, their son that Friday and one said the, the Friday after. I let them stay there and let my house members stay in the house until everybody was gone. Mm 